Welcome to the Freelancers Tea Break podcast, brought to you by the Freelance Lifestyle. My name is Emma Cossey, and each week I'll be bringing you three minutes of tips and discussions to help you improve your freelance lifestyle. So this week I want to talk about facing your fears. Last night um, I booked myself onto an adult swimming class session, um, which kicks off next week. The course is five weeks long, it cost me just £31 and at the end of the five weeks I should be hopefully be able to swim. Now the reason I'm telling you this is because it's something I've been putting off for years. I really love the idea of swimming, it would be um, the ideal exercise for me to do before or uh, during lunchtime uh, around my work week and yet I haven't dealt with it because I came up with dozens of reasons why I couldn't do it, whether it would be I'd be too embarrassed at the pool, other people would be better than me, it would be very expensive. So I came up with dozens of reasons why I shouldn't do it, and then I realised that these were all just silly reasons, they weren't proper reasons, but they were holding me back from doing something that I really wanted to do. And this is kind of following on from something I've done on the uh, reading the Lucky Bitch ebook, where we're asked to identify those kind of internal blocks that stop you really succeeding and basically the things that you say to yourself whether you realise it or not that are holding you back and the silly thing is once you clear those blocks or once you um, disregard those niggly little um, worries you can't believe how long that you've waited to do something or why you've put it off for so long when it's actually been so easy Another example of this is budgeting. I've been putting off budgeting for months. I hate the idea. I'm not good with my finances. I just didn't want to deal with it. And then I downloaded a piece of software, which I'll talk about in the blog soon. You need a budget. Um, And it completely changed how I see budgeting. Um, It's a fantastic piece of software that allows me to just enter in um, what I'm spending, set budgets so I can see how everything's going. And it's really, really helped with my budgeting. And I, I sat there an hour after setting it all up and thought, why did I put this off for so long? What was the point? So what I would love you to do this week is to write down a list of three things that you really want to do, but you've been putting off and putting at the bottom of your to-do list. And then write down the reasons why you haven't done them yet. So whether it's public speaking or teaching yourself a new skill, Just do it rather than worrying about all the little reasons why you shouldn't. I'd love you to tell me how you got on with this task. Jump on over to freelance underscore life on Twitter and let me know.